dog. Could have had buried treasure. Could have had buried Jets. treasure. Could have had a giant barrel of really good whiskey. I mean, there are so many options. It's definitely uh, something that I hope that we can get cleaned up off the coast. And yeah. Maybe somebody will find some, uh, some buried treasure. Yeah, I was going to say, and plus, there's probably going to be more coming over the next few weeks or months. Who knows when it could come because it's taken months to get here and who knows where it got lost in translation in the ocean. So. Absolutely. And plus, it's a lot of those those areas of the currents are going to really change how it gets here. And so mm -hmm. we're going to be dealing with this for a while. Definitely something I got to keep a close eye on. Yeah, totally. All right, let's talk about our forecast. Something we need to keep a close eye on, but uh, not necessarily today, right? Absolutely. Today is going to be picture perfect. Great weather to get outside, enjoy the Central Coast, and most importantly, make your voice heard. Make sure to get out there and vote for today. Hopefully, you've already turned in your ballot already with those mail-in ballots, but if you haven't, it is going to be gorgeous for today. Pismo Beach outside right now, about 44 degrees. Winds to the north at three miles. Not major, anything major concerns, but you can see we've got those beautiful clear skies for today, and especially if you're comparing what we're seeing right now to what we're seeing yesterday, a whole lot less energy for those waves. So good news there if you're heading out towards those beaches and want to surf. Now, as you're heading out the door, grab that extra layer. It's definitely cold, especially in those interior valleys. Only 31 degrees right now in California Valley. 39 in Santa Maria, 52 in Isla Vista, and 36 degrees in Paso Robles for this morning. Just grab that extra layer. You won't need it for too long, though, so good news there. We do have one area of concern with some limited visibility. That's in the San Inez Valley, where those visibilities are just about one mile at this point. It was less than a quarter of a mile just a couple of minutes ago, so we are starting to see improvements, but you are going to notice some limited visibilities, especially on 101 near Buellton. We do also have some continued wind gusts along our south coast. That is a mainly just due to the sundown or wind event with those northerly winds still sticking around. But I want you to see where we've got these winds turning offshore here and going up to the north just a little bit to the north of us. And that is because we do have a front headed our way that's going to change our wind directions pretty significantly. Thankfully, not for today. Today we've got picture perfect polling weather. Polls open in less than an hour. They open at 7 a.m. A little bit chilly, but still nice and clear to head out there. Sunshine and temperatures in the 60s all the way through today. Polls close at 8 p.m. tonight, becoming a little bit on the cloudier side, but still dry and wonderful. Also nice calm winds as you head out there as well. So things are looking great for today. 64 degrees in Paso Robles and Santa Barbara, 65 in Lompoc and Santa Maria, 67 degrees in San Luis Obispo for today. Along our north coast, 60 in Cayucas, 65 in San Miguel, and 66 degrees in Avila Beach in the Five Cities region. Really comfortable as well. Napomo at 64, 63 in Shandon, and 62 degrees in Pismo Beach. And along our south coast, great conditions as well. Goleta at 66, 62 in Vandenberg, and 63 degrees in the Koyama Valley for today. Now, checking out that satellite radar, things are about to change. We've got a high pressure heading down to the south. That's going to clear out pretty quickly. But now this low pressure is headed our way. That's actually what's turning our winds and what's going to bring us some rain for tomorrow. So timing that out. Clear conditions for today. A little bit of cloud cover by this evening, but by about 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, this bulk of the rain will be arriving along our western beaches, spreading out during the mid midday hours where we could see a couple of thunderstorms here and there. It's going to clear out really quickly. We're talking up to about a half an inch of rain along our south coast. Most locations closer to a quarter of an inch of rain, then it's going to clear out really quickly. Lots of sunshine expected all the way through this weekend and into next week. Neil, back to you. All right.